Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. We are learning about this VJS authentication, right? In this video, we will try to see how we can rectify the error, how we can show the error if the if there is any error coming from the server side. So if you are submitting right now, we are doing successfully. So if you try to see here, now here if I tested the test.com and here one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one is already already a registered user. Now, if I click on sign up, here I am getting 400 response and I am I, and I am able to see this error response that email underscore exists. Okay, but here we are not showing anything. How we can how we can show this type of error? So now up to now what we have did we have did the only the client side validations. So for example, if I if I write here, I am able to see invalid email. But the response that the error coming from the server side. So how we can show these errors? We'll try to see here. Now in this in this scenario we have already seen that. The server is returning some message that is email underscore exists. You try to see Firebase authorized API. So we have already did this one in the Angular course. The same thing. So authorized APIs have some default codes. Uh, email underscore exists. Uh, authentication something like that. So uh, if you try to see here, valid custom token. So these dem these these names you will be having. So if you go to the sign up with email and password, and here commonly error codes are email underscore exist operation not allowed these things we are having so here most commonly we will be getting the error is email underscore exist so how we can make use of this email underscore, underscore exist code and how we can show our uh, user friendly message how we can show let's try to see here now we go into the actions.js this is where it is going to be submitted so this is the await exist dot post right so here it is going to submit it so let's try to add this one in the try catch okay so try so we are trying this response so if we get any error so right now we are getting error right so catch of error so if we have any error okay sorry if we have any error we need to show that error so right now we have some error codes particularly error codes we are able to get particularly some error codes so email underscore exists and all things so these things we need to convert into the user friendly message so what i will try to do is i will try to write a separate logic in the sign up validations something like that so static get error message from code okay why i am creating static is so i don't know i don't want to create a object for this one so here i will be getting the error code error code is nothing but those er those error code so what is the error code we are having email underscore exist and all the things we having this one so using this error code i will do so here switch i will use error code error code okay so here i will be writing case email underscore exist this is the code right we will be getting commonly and what i will write to write written written email already exist okay so this is the message so this is the switch code now here get error message and i will go to actions and in this action catch error what i will try to write here I will I will call to I will call this one. So let's catch this one. Let me so console dot log error dot response. Okay, so the response of the error we let's try to see. And if you go here, and here it is saying that response is a send value but never used. Where is that one in the actions dot js? Okay, where is that one? Okay, this is the error we are getting. So we have mentioned this let in the try block uh, in the try block, right? So we need to mention let response is equal to t, and this we need to remove this response. Okay. So this is the let concept. So let is only the block level concept, right? So that is the reason it is it is this response variable it will be available on, only into this try block. So here we cannot access. So that is the reason we are doing this one. If you want to know more about this let concepts, so I already covered about the difference. Let and constant in the ES6 course. Now you can you can check there in that ES6 course let and constant thing. So here I am writing test at the rate test.com. So this one is already email existing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Writing the password sign up. If you click on sign up, I am able to get the data here. So here this one is the this one we are getting response dot the error dot response. This is the response. So we are having message in the data error errors of zero of message so that means what i need to do so dot data dot error 
dot errors of zero dot message so up to here we will try to console try to refresh it again and here test at the test dot com and one two three four five six here here we are getting the message we are trying to get so now we need to send this message to the to the sign up validation so here we have written the code right we will be sending this one so here what i can do oh sorry can do sign up validations dot get error message from code and let's take this one all okay and dot message i can write directly like this i can remove this one so i will be getting the let error message so we will be getting we will be getting a message so let's console dot log error message okay so we will be getting one one user friendly error message right let's try to see here so if i click on test at the rate test dot com and one two three four five six and if you click on sign up here i'm able to get email already exists from the from the actions dot jc so we need to send it to the sign up dot view so here we are uh, signing up right so here we got an error so that sign up is not uh, done successfully we got an error so i need to send this user friendly sign up message to here how can i send here from here what i can do is in the action dot js just simply what i can do is just throw this error message okay so if i throw this error message so now what it will happen is i can catch it here dot catch okay we can write it catch of error and here i can write this console.log error okay so console.log so this dyn up sign up so when 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 we are throwing any error message so we will we can able to catch it here so now here what i will try to do error spelling mistake i think okay now if i try to check here if i click on fresh if i do test at the rate test.com here 1 2 3 4 5 6 if i click here if i click on sign up i am able to get from the sign up dot view if you try to see in the sign up dot view i am able to get the message in the catch so now what i can do is here i can create one variable something like error okay error is equal to empty this error is different from this client server this is the server error we are getting from the server side so i can write here this dot error is equal to error i can write okay and here what i can do so here i can go top and here i can mention div I can write error now what i can do is class is equal to so bootstrap classes i will apply alert and danger and v hyphen if is equal to error I can write this error now let's try to see this one if i try to see this let's remove this one so I can refresh and if i try to write test at the rate test dot com 1 2 3 4 5 6 if i click here if i click on sign up i am able to get the message email already exists so we have successfully showed the message here so now from the actions what we have did from the actions so whatever the, whatever the from the actions whatever the exist exist call we are making to the sign up so we are getting the error message we are catching that error message here and we are converting that error code into error into user friendly so whatever whatever the readable format error message we are converting using the sign up validations if you want you can create a, your own class and you can export that one so just for the time being so what i have did so i have created a static method here so that without creating any object for this class we can directly access the method of that one so here we are throwing the error message and throwing that error message we are catching that one in the sign up here in the sign up we are trying to catch up here catch this one and we are showing that we are storing that error message in the global in one, da one data variable and we are showing it automatically at the top okay so this is how we can split the code split the code equally in the actions and all the things so that the component responsibility just it is responsible for sign up if if not sign up means they just catch the error and show that error and all the heart the the main uh, just implementation is here the heart of the logic everything is written in the actions.js so here if you try to see the actions.js here you are having if you want you can remove this all axios code and you can also keep it in another class so that submit the sign up or something like that you can write and you can directly catch this uh, the, those errors also okay so it depends it depends on the logic how you are writing if you want you can write you can delete this one and you can write a separate class method and you can you can you can call that class method also you can do it that uh, that entirely depends on the 
coding logic structure. So I hope you understood this code. So how to catch the, how to create, how to catch the errors and all those things. Okay, so in the next video, we'll try to see about the login functionality also. Have any doubts or any suggestions? Please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.